another day and another job. So all of the floors are sorted on that side of the chateau now. We've just got this last one to sort out and this is in the 401 blue bedroom, which is the central room for the chateau really. And this and the room below where the double doors were had suffered the most damage to be honest because these are the central ones the guttering had a slight peak on it and obviously the water was just coming straight through there because it had failed because it had been abandoned for so long coming straight down straight into the chateau rotting the beams rotting the windows then coming down rotting all the floor and then further down and rotting the doors so such a small job like i said keeping the gutters clean created so much damage there wasn't much of the floor left as you can see it's all just completely rotted away so i haven't got much to go as a template but i've got an idea of how it sort of went together but i'm not going to be able to use any of the original pieces because they're all just too too badly rotten and just full of woodworm really so i've got some more wood that we took up in the bathroom so this is all oak boards and we took all these off when we took the floor up in the 401 bathroom because we're going to be tiling that and we kept them all aside because we knew we'd need them for jobs like this so now it's just going to be the task of creating a jigsaw puzzle with not many pieces and we're going to have to cut all of them at 45 degree angles so they all sort of chamfer in and follow the herringbone pattern that we've got on the parquet floor here in the bedroom and not only that then we're going to have to do the tongue and the groove on each part so they all interlock with each other and they're nice and sturdy really so yeah not a difficult job today just another shadow job so yeah, I'm just going to sort of play about with it really, see how we get on. Just going to cut a couple of the, the pieces and see how they line up and then just go from there really and just piece it all together. Once this is done, then we can start getting the panels on to box all this part of the window in, which will be brilliant just to get this room completely finished as well. And then we can look at fillering it and sanding it all and getting it, getting it ready for undercoat really. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with this now and I don't know how long it's going to take, I don't know how difficult it's going to be. I've done the one in the 400 bedroom and that was a slightly different design. It wasn't too bad, but we'll see how it goes. So I will crack on now.
So I'm getting there with the floor. I've got more than, well, probably three quarters of it done now. And it's, it's going together quite well, to be honest. Obviously there's a couple of little tiny bits where it's raised because I think the pack is slightly different. But once it's all sanded, then it'll all be completely uniform and you won't be telling difference, hopefully. So I've got all of that side done with the top part because we have a slight angle for where the windows taper in. So we need to copy the same sort of angle. And luckily we mm -hmm. had the one that was actually left from that side, it was still intact. So I could get the actual, um, the angle that's supposed to be from that. And then I'll be able to copy it for the other side as well. So I've got, I think three more pieces to do on this side to finish it off. And then I've got the front part to do and then that's it, which is fantastic. And then once all that's done, I'll have to take it all up and fit it into place properly. And we're probably just gonna um, glue it down just so it doesn't shift anywhere. Um, and we might put some little tacks in as well. I'll see when it comes to it. I might just tack it or I might just glue it down. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. So I'll just crack on with the other bits now, just doing exactly the same way I've just been doing it. So getting the angle, putting it through the sort of get the 45 degree mitre on it and then go through the router table to get the tongue groove on. And yeah, hopefully it'll be the last floor that I need to do for now until next year, until we get down into the grand salon and the dining room. So I will crack on now.
And there we have it. The floor is finally finished. And again, it's just looking fantastic. Every time I come in to uh, do jobs like this, I absolutely dread doing them at first. And I don't look forward to doing them because I just think, oh God, this is going to be so hard and so complicated. But as soon as you start getting through it, it is relatively easy, to be honest. It was just making sure obviously that all of the lines line up properly and all the measurements are all exact. And yeah, I'm just so happy with it. It even lines up with the chevron herringbone pattern on the main floor. The lines actually follow through to the central part of the threshold for the window, which is just unbelievable. It's, it's so, so, so good. And there was two little triangle parts which are there, the normal parts that go anywhere. They're just like little tiny infills. Two of those were missing on the main section of the floor. And I've managed to fill those in as well. So when it comes to sanding it, it'll all just be nice and uniform. And yeah, you'd never know that there was a big gaping hole here. So now that's done, obviously we'll be at a look at getting the panels on the side for the windows and boxing all of the window in. And then this is a full room again, bar on the ceiling which we'll be able to start cracking on with soon. It's just going to be a, a complete room. And then it's looking on the filler and sanding and getting on with the undercoat, which is a nice, exciting job. But yeah, it's just fantastic. Like I said, I've got all of the floors done up here now on the second floor. So that all of them ticked off the list. We won't need to come back to them until we do the ones downstairs. So I've got two to do in the Grand Salon and I've got one to do in the um, dining room. But I think we've got the parquet there in our little cupboard, like the little toilet cupboard. I'm sure it's in there, um, which is just being chucked in there from when they've done the survey. So none of us have ventured in properly yet to get it out. So we need to have a little look at that. But yeah, like I said, it's another job ticked off the list. I'm just so, so pleased that I've managed to get it done. So let us know what you think, how it's turned out, and if I made it look too easy, <laughs> or if I made it look too difficult. <laughs> but even Ash came over, and Ash had a little go of it as well. And like I said, once you've got your head around it, it's not too difficult. While I've been doing this, you might have seen as well that Mum and Ash have been quite busy sanding and fillering in the um, 401 red bedroom. So they've been getting all that sorted and prepped. And it's looking brilliant so yeah that's it for today's episode hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe because it massively helps us and we'll see you in the next one god knows what it'll be i'm sure a job will pop up somewhere so yeah check us out on the next one and see you soon bye if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau then please join us on patreon where you'll be part of our journey receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos